Attorney General Gidu, Professor Gidu Mwigai has told the Senate Legal Committee that the country's electoral system is manual and that the technology part is merely complementary. But as our reporter Marie Mwangi now tells us, the Council of Governors has told off the AG and raised the alarm over a possible plot to use the manual loophole to tamper with the 2017 polls. Cause the credibility of an election. In a fresh twist to the political standoff on whether the country's electoral agency, IEBC, should revert to manual voter identification and transmission of results where technology fails. Attorney General Professor Githu Mwigai now says Kenya's electoral system is manual and that the technological part is merely complementary. How do we count the vote? We have no machine for counting the vote. It's a manual process. We empty the debe and we count. If we emphasize the electronic, we will be ignoring the reality of what happens on the day we vote. The manual system has been abused, so we have cured the manual system. The mere act of voting being manual means that the entire process is both manual and electronic. Even persons with disability who cannot, don't have fingers and maybe cannot see, we have not provided a formula in the regulations. And therefore, it will be good for you, in your opinion, to then give us the, that, because in my own view, personal view, and I'm entitled to it. We have no legal problem. What we have is we have a low threshold of trust. You, as you said that systems are almost guaranteed to fail. As an insider and as someone who has access to information that many of us do not have, is there something you know about the failure of technology in these elections that other Kenyans might not know? In the nature of systems, it may be the machine that is wrong, not the individual. Imagine what that means if the machine is... Uh, is, uh, is uh, is in Thika town, or is in Kisumu town, or is in Kakamega town. The first conclusion that the commentators say is that there has been a deliberate effort to cut out the people of Machakos, the people of Thika, and so on and so on. But the Council of Governors has rubbished any manual fallback as a loophole, which could result in election tampering and rigging. This as debate raged in the Senate Legal Committee on possible electronic backup options that the IEBC can turn to. There are people who don't have thumbprints because they are quarry workers. And one vote counts for a lot. We need not have a system where one person is sent away because they are not identified by the BVI. The, the peasant farmer from Moranga who woke up very early to milk his cows and carry his materials and feed the cows and so on, his fingers are not without uh, contact with the material he was using. The failure of the machine to recognize him cannot be cured by backup. Identification on arrival is where we have a problem. And then the question is transmission. Must you carry the Form 16A and change it three times before it arrives at KICC? Physically, it can be transmitted through the satellite uh, gadgets. The suggested changes to the Election Laws Amendment Act were passed during a stormy session at the National Assembly. But the Senate committed the contentious amendments to its legal committee to allow public participation. But the opposition coalition court has threatened to resume street demonstrations if the Senate passes the contentious amendments. As the legal committee prepares to draft a report with the input from all the stakeholders, all eyes will be on the Senate ahead of the Thursday vote as the debate on the admissibility of Emmanuel backup system continues. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News in Nairobi.